Hey friends, what's going on? Gator here on a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm here with my, my great friend, you know, man, Mexican sensation. This guy is amazing. He's crushing it on the internet, man. I don't know how you do what you do. You know, it wasn't that long ago. I'll let you share your story, but Horatio, my man, is so powerful. He has an incredible story to share with people. Maybe you're trying to battle with your e-commerce or you're just getting started and you're saying to yourself, man, is this even possible for myself? Can I do this stuff? I don't have the confidence. I don't even speak English. And the reason we're making this video, guys, is to inspire you that it doesn't matter what walk of life or where you came from. So I really want to interview this guy and ask him a couple of questions on what he's been doing and how has he been doing it. What's the story behind his success? Because he's... I think he's biggest day. What's your biggest day online? Uh, biggest day. Is, I mean, I've been doing over 10k days. Ten thousand dollars a day, and he had an e-commerce store that made over seventy thousand dollars in one month. I mean, the guy did not even graduate high school. This, his story is amazing. So, in the process, you're gonna get making 10k a day. People that's watching right now who haven't made a dime on the internet, they doubted themselves. They know it's not possible. What gives you the belief that you know you can make money on the internet? <laughs> What did you well, get you started? I think since, uh, like I said, I, I didn't finish high school. I was pretty good at four to go to college. So I saw, I was watching some videos on YouTube, mm -hmm. and I saw some people that were making a lot of money. They didn't, they, they didn't go to high school. Wow. And I, especially uh, Hispanic guys. Wow. I saw some guys that were doing it. So yeah. I said, you know what? <laughs> this is the only thing. I, I, this is the only thing I can do now that's because, it. I, because I, I, I didn't go to college, right? Right. And so that's what I said. That's what I did after high school. I said, okay, I'm gonna get a part-time job. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna work in my business, build my business like as much as I can. Right. And I did that for almost two years. Right. And you uh, made how much you made in the two years? I didn't make any money. Hey. I, I spent a lot yeah. of money. Right. And, you spent a lot uh, of money. I was li living with my mom. Um, I mean, I was I was I had like ten different jobs because I was they would fire me every every few weeks. Mm -hmm. So um, then I had a um, had a job where actually I worked there for almost almost four months. Mm -hmm. But then uh, then I decided that I, I just said you know what. I'm just gonna do this internet thing, and I have to do. Right. So I told my mom, uh, I have some money, say, so uh, can you help me just uh, with the so paying my my bills, and I uh, and I just uh, I want to start doing this. Right. And that's when I it took me two years uh, to actually make my first uh, dollar online. First dollar. Yeah, I was just spending money buying uh, ebooks and stuff two like that. Two years, man. So. How did you feel when you made your first your first commission or your first sell, whatever you made online? What did that do for you? Tell me, you know, explain to me the feeling that you had at that moment. Like the, the, the first payment that I received was twelve cents. From it was actually from clicking ads. Uh -huh. uh, those sites, uh, I think they're those, uh, they call them T, uh, PTC site, uh -huh. and you actually get paid per click. Right. So I I was clicking ads. Uh, I was get I was getting people to click on those ads, and uh -huh. I, they would, I would get paid. So my first commission was twelve cents. Wow. That was the best feeling for me. But even my I mean my my. Brother or my, my sister made fun of me, or everybody made fun of me. Right. And I felt like it, it's possible. It, it is possible to make right. money. So for um, twelve cents, man, it's crazy. And um, yeah, after that, um, I think it was uh, the beginning of the year two thousand uh, thirteen. That's when I hired my first uh, mentor. Mm -hmm. I paid him three thousand dollars to teach me uh, solo ads. Mm -hmm. That's when I. That's the first year I made some money. In 2014, I made my first six figures nice. selling, selling solo, selling, uh, email, email marketing. Wow. Uh, after that, I knew that I had to do something else because the solo business was going, I mean, my sales went down. Right. So I found another mentor was, uh, which was um, promoting CPA offers. Okay. I invested another $10,000. I made some money there, but I wasn't, I wasn't comfortable doing that. Wow. I w so I, I saw a guy that was doing Shopify. And he was, he was one of my friends. He was posting screenshots on Facebook saying that he was doing like 5k a day, 10k a day. I was like, how is that possible? I mean, right. So I would, that night I carried the store. I started running some ads. I didn't know anything about Facebook, but, but I knew how to run traffic. Uh -huh. So the first few weeks, I think I lost over a thousand dollars. 
in two weeks, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, for, for the first week. Why? Because I went crazy the way that <laughs> right. um, I thought that if I was just going to spend money, I was going to make money. Spend money, money. more, yeah, yeah. without so, a strategy. Yeah. So then I had my friend, uh, I had a friend, we, we had a Skype call, he gave me uh, some tips on how to actually find the products and uh, actually uh, how to run the, my Facebook ads. Mm-hmm. After that, after that, with the same week, I went from zero to almost five hundred dollars a day in sales. Wow, that's crazy. That's when I saw this. The, I, that's when I actually thought that this was possible. I, right. had, I had this feeling that if I can make five hundred dollars in sales, right. I can make a thousand. And then two weeks later, I was doing that for like one k a day, right. and it kept growing. Wow. And it, it, it was. I think it was the best season because uh, I started in um, July. And then by uh, the end of December, I think. We did, uh, I did over $72,000 profit. I, wow. I, I felt like I was a billionaire. <laughs> no, like, that feeling yeah, is crazy. I, I, I was, to go from nothing to $72,000 in profit, now I, it's not overnight. You went through a whole yeah, process I mean, and learning. I started but, telling to the, but that's the, the like events. Crazy. How old are you? Like, I, I was 22 at the time. You was 22, man. 22 years old making $72,000. That's most people. Most people in America, they don't even make $50,000. The average income is $32,000 a year. And as a 22 years old, making seventy thousand dollars. So, how did that make you feel? Well, before we go into that, because some people that are watching right now, they might feel like, well, this guy can do it, I can't do it. Tell me, you know, just give me like, what was one of those uh, moment in your business that you had to bounce back for, from? Like, you know, you felt like, man, I was down to the lowest. I had to bounce back. What was your mindset? What was you thinking at that moment? And how did you do it to get back on top? Yeah. Okay. So. Like I said, that month I did a little, I made a lot of money. I was so happy, but then the next month I got distracted, uh-huh. and I, I was I thought I was making so much money. <laughs> I, I started buying a lot of things, and, yeah. and then I said, you know what? Party, having fun. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then, and then my, the next month my sales went down. Crazy. It, it, uh, and then I got I was like, why? You know? I, I instead of actually learning what or looking at what what was wrong, right? I got depressed, right? And then the next month I went really low. Uh-huh. Well, I was at the point where I went from 72K to less than 10K a month. And uh-huh. I was, instead of actually doing something something about it, I, I got depressed and right. I, I didn't, I mean, I wasn't doing anything. Right. I was sleeping like, I would go to sleep around 8 a.m. and wake up at 12. <laughs> right. I was just playing video games. And right. I, I, didn't, I didn't feel like I was, I don't know, I was just depressed. Right. And then. Um, so how did you bounce back from that? All right, so then I, I decided to go to, to attend to one of the events because uh, a month, when, with the time when I was making that much money, I started buying tickets to, to go to the event. So uh-huh. that time I had to go to one of the events. Okay. And that's when I, I met other people. And I met some of my students that I was teaching. That was making a Yeah. <laughs> they were making like a lot of money. And I was like, wow, they, they, they're making money now. They're making more money than me now. I have to do something, you know? So for someone that's watching right now, that's making money, or who's probably in the same situation, would you say that you advise them to go to an event and get around people that are winning right now and the same thing that you're doing, and that's gonna help them to inspire them to get their groove back yeah. and get stuff because done? Because when you, I mean, give to a coach. when you're working alone, you don't have uh, that motivation. Right. So when you, when you go to the event, you see other people like you, yourself, uh, Nate, uh, right. Nate, and that, they motivate you. Right. And I think since, this is a lonely role because now I don't have a lot of friends that understand, understand what I'm doing. So uh-huh. I, I'm 23 years old. I lost right. most of my friends. They don't understand what I'm doing. They think I'm crazy. Uh-huh. And it, uh, now they see me that I got money. They, I don't know. They just ask me for money all they the time. They just want yeah. money. That's it. Yeah. So the last question I'm going to ask you, man, is, you know, what type of advice can you give to anybody that's watching right now? They say, hey, you know what? I want to make $70,000. Maybe they're 23 just like you. Or maybe they can't relate. They're in your age. Maybe they came to the United States at, at an age where they did not know English. Or they might be watching from Mexico or other countries and they can relate to yourself right now speaking as a young man who started with no college, no high school, your high school dropout, and now you're making $70,000 a month in businesses and now you're coaching people that are making even way more and you're making a lot more money. And you know, money is just the results, but what advice can you give to other people who's looking to start on this journey, but maybe they might have fear, they have a lot of resistance, they don't think they are worth it, you know, maybe they were treated bad as a kid or they had a rough upbringing. What advice can you give to that person right now that's watching? Look, uh, honestly, and if, you want, if, they, they want to, if they want to do uh, this, Mm-hmm. Nobody cares where you come from. Nobody cares about your background, or the way you look, right. or the way you speak, or 
nothing. I mean, nobody cares. I mean, you have to, if you have the ability to actually build a business, if you really want to, you really want to do this for, uh, I, I don't know if I'm doing this for my family. I just want, don't like the feeling of going to uh, working on a regular job. Right. I don't like that. I mean, so this, for me, this, this was the only way to actually do something in life. And I, what I want to do is I want to inspire other people because, wow. like you said, uh, wow. there's a lot of people who now they send, they send me messages and saying, oh my God, uh, I see it. Now that I see another Hispanic guy doing this, uh -huh. I feel like I, 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 I can I feel, do it. Yeah, I can do it. And this, this, was a, this, is, this is how I got started because I saw another Hispanic guy doing this in, in, uh, in Spanish, mm -hmm. but there was nobody doing it in the English market. Right. So I said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to be that guy. I want to be that nice. guy that inspire other uh, entrepreneurs. Not just Hispanic, but I mean, anybody. anybody. That, that's so powerful, man. You know, I was listening to a racial speak earlier and they asked him what his goal, that's his income goal. And he was shocking. He's like, dude, I want to make $5 million and I want to see it in my, in my bank account. I want to see $5 million and I want to get a red Ferrari with um, black inside. And everybody was like, yo, that's so awesome. You know, it's, it's so amazing to get around people when you say those type of goals and they just going to cheer you on and say, go for it. Go, you can do it. Instead of being around your friends or other people that that's have this small mindset and you say, hey, I want to be a millionaire. Oh, hey, I want to have a red Ferrari. And they look at you. Yeah, I know it's crazy. Talk. That's never going to happen or your dream will never come true. But anyway, guys, um, really appreciate you. If you do find value in this video, feel free to like, share, leave a comment below. Also, Horatio, if they want to get in contact with you, get more into what you do, maybe your coaching or whatever you do with e-commerce, how can they get in contact with you? Uh, they can find me on Facebook, just type uh, Horacio Ramirez and then you'll find me on Facebook. Okay, Horacio on Facebook, look him up. I will put his link to his Facebook page below, so if you do want to connect with him, check him out on Facebook. Do like this video, leave a comment, share. That was Cater and Mr. Horacio. Mr. In the house, I'll see you guys later.